Cobra Kai Season 2 left us with some serious cliffhangers. Will Miguel recover from his life-threatening injury? And who will win the Battle of the Valley? Netflix just dropped a new trailer, and there is a lot to unpack, so keep watching. At the end of Season 2, some serious stuff went down. Johnny's old mentor, Kreese, took over Cobra Kai, kicking out Johnny and corrupting the students of the dojo. To make it worse, Johnny's own students turned on him. Meanwhile, a huge fight broke out between the Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do students, and Johnny's son Robbie pushed Miguel off a balcony. Robbie fled the scene, but Miguel didn't wake up. Finally, Johnny threw away his phone, not realizing that he had a friend request from the one that got away, his old girlfriend Allie. All that drama has us majorly pumped for the new season. Netflix is dropping the new series on January 8th. Here's what we know so far. First of all, the show has a new studio behind it. After season two, Cobra Kai left YouTube Red and made the jump to Netflix, which is now streaming the first two seasons. With the streaming giant behind the show, will we see any noticeable changes? Well, for one thing, we know we're getting plenty more Cobra Kai. Netflix put fans' minds at ease when they renewed the series through season four, even though the third season has yet to be released. We also know that the new season will follow the pattern of 10 30-minute episodes per season. That means we get at least 20 more episodes. So what does season three have in store for all our favorite cast members? Will Elizabeth Shue be returning to the Karate Kid universe? Back in the 80s, Shue starred as Allie, the original Karate Kid love interest. Her character dated both Johnny and Daniel, something Cobra Kai loves to remind us of. Past seasons have shown us that Johnny never got over Allie, and Daniel told us that Allie has been working as a pediatric surgeon. And don't forget, last season ended with Allie trying to slide into Johnny's DMs. So what does it all mean? The show's creators are playing it cool, insisting that they wrote that scene without an official commitment from Shu. But we're not so sure. For one thing, back in 2019, Elizabeth said she liked the show and was thinking about making an appearance. And now that her character has been killed off on the boys, we know her schedule is open. With Ali's return a definite possibility, fans are freaking out, and everyone has a theory on the role she'll play. Since we know Ali became an orthopedic surgeon, some people think she'll be the one treating Miguel's injuries and helping him to get back on his feet. Others think her return might be even more dramatic because she could be bad girl Tori's estranged mother. This theory is based on the fact that Tori introduced herself the same way Ali did in the original film. Tori. Oh. With a Y. Whatever the role, we just hope that Ali makes an appearance. At the end of season two, we saw Johnny starting to date again, so maybe he's ready to let someone special back into his life. Or would her return only drive Johnny and Daniel further apart? Speaking of Johnny and Daniel, season three gave us some good news about the former rivals. They're finally teaming up. In previous seasons, we've seen Johnny and Daniel move towards friendship, but every time we think they're ready to bury the hatchet, something comes between them. But this time seems different. With Kreese corrupting their former students and their kids caught in the middle, there's a lot on the line for these old pros, and maybe it's enough to bring them together. The trailer confirms the team up, with Daniel reaching out to Johnny for help. We even see them driving around, laughing like they've been bros all along. With all the tension and drama of last season, it's good to see these characters coming together. And maybe they'll take that partnership on the road. One thing we know about season three is that it's going international. At least Daniel will be heading to Japan where he hopes to uncover the secrets behind Mr. Miyagi's teachings. Fans might have noticed Karate Kid 2 characters chosen in Kimiko in the season three trailer. Back in the valley, we get some good news. Miguel survived his awful fall. We see him alive and awake in the hospital where Johnny vows that he'll never abandon him again and Miguel is going to need his support. The trailer shows him unable to walk, let alone fight. He's going to need some serious training to get back on his feet, especially if he wants to fight again. The trailer doesn't shy away from that, showing poor Miguel face planting out of his hospital bed. Hopefully he can laugh about it, otherwise it's going to be a long road to recovery. And what about the cutie's broken heart? Miguel is currently stuck in the middle of a pretty badass love triangle, he's clearly got lingering feelings for Daniel's daughter, Sam, who has been getting closer to Robbie. Will Miguel's injury bring her back to his side? And bad girl Tori is clearly crushing hard on this karate kid. In fact, her feelings for Miguel are a big part of Tori's rivalry with Sam. This is one fight that might be coming out of the ring. And what does that mean for Johnny's relationship with Miguel's mom? 
At the end of last season, she ended their relationship, blaming Johnny for Miguel's injuries. Now that he's healing, will she give Johnny a second chance? Or will Allie's potential return stop their romance before it even begins? And where does Robbie fit into all this? At the end of season 2, we saw him running away from the fight that left Miguel paralyzed, but did his actions catch up to him? It seems like it, the trailer showed the troubled teen behind bars. But did he get caught, or did he turn himself in? More importantly, is he locked up for good? We know Daniel and Johnny are going to need their whole team to take down Kreese, and between his dad and his mentor, Robbie has a lot to fight for. Hopefully, Robbie will be out in time to join the fight, and maybe even get the girl. And there's an old rival coming back to the scene. Season 1 bully Kyler shows up to train at Cobra Kai. In Season 1, Kyler bullied Miguel and was a total jerk to Sam until Miguel trained up and taught him a lesson. But Kyler was absent for all of Season 2. Hopefully, we'll find out where he's been and what he's plotting. Now that he's back, it definitely means trouble. Kyler's bad boy ways line up with Kreese's brutal teachings, which is bad news for our heroes. At the Cobra Kai dojo, Hawk seems angrier than ever, and he and Dimitri seem ready for a rematch. Hopefully Daniel and Johnny can get through to Hawk before it's too late, but we're worried he might turn to the dark side. With Kreese in the mix, Hawk could be in some serious trouble, especially since we've seen him getting more and more violent. And without Moon to keep him grounded, he might totally lose himself. We also see some footage of Daniel coaching Sam, which made for a pretty sweet father-daughter moment. But even though he and Sam are fixing their relationship, Daniel is in trouble with his wife, who is growing more and more exasperated with his obsession with karate. Last season, she made her disapproval super clear, so we may have to see Daniel make a difficult choice. Something tells us she won't be super happy about her husband jetting off to Japan to train with an old flame. And finally, there's the teaser trailer that came out a few months ago. In the trailer, we heard a heart monitor flatlining. <laughs> now that we know Miguel survived, we can't help but wonder, who didn't? Will the battle for the valley have serious consequences? And will some of our heroes not make it out alive? One thing is for sure, we're looking at an action-packed season. Between Miguel's comeback, Daniel and Johnny's epic team-up, and all the potential couples, we don't even know what we're most excited about. But one thing is for sure, this season is definitely paying off all the work the earlier episodes did. Johnny is closer to redemption than ever, and now the whole cast is uniting to take down their common enemy. It seems like this time around they have something to fight for, instead of just fighting one another. What do you think will happen this season? Will Johnny and Daniel's truce last? Is Allie coming back to the valley? And most importantly, who do you want to end up together? Let us know in the comments below.